that between August and December across the country due to harsh weather conditions. This follows an advisory by the National Drought Management Authority, which predicts poor rainfall during the period and recommends swift action to avert a crisis. Devolution Cabinet Secretary Eugene Wamalwa says 10 counties are currently affected and the government is working round the clock to assist vulnerable families. The government fears the number of counties affected by drought will increase in the coming months. Already 10 counties, namely Garissa, Isiolo, Kilifi, Mandera, Samburu, Tanariva, Wajia, Lamu, Marsabir and Turkana are experiencing drought. According to Devolution Cabinet Secretary Eugene Amalwa, the National Drought Management Authority has new data that indicates that the current drought situation could get worse between August and December. We've been uh, uh, aware of the drought situation up north and particularly in the counties of Turkana and Marsabit. Apart from these two counties, we have eight other counties that are facing and actually experiencing uh, drought. Wamalwa, who held a consultative meeting with members of parliament from Marsabit and Turkana counties on how to address the current challenges, said construction of three mega dams in Turkana, West Pokot and Marsabit were at an advanced stage in a bid to fully address the perennial shortage of water. NDMA is already engaging and uh, we are uh, also pushing other uh, partners as we speak to mobilize more resources. This month the government released 559 million shillings through the hunger safety network targeting 100,000 vulnerable families affected by drought. People are likely uh, to face uh, severe starvation, uh, support to uh, livestock uh, uh, in terms of sustainment, because there will be no... Timothy Kipnusu reporting for Legends Edition.